So I've been noticing that a lot of people are trying to implement AI tools and they think they found the perfect tool to solve their problem. You set up the interface, you set up the automation. On paper, efficiency should skyrocket, but the actual friction actually goes up in your team. It feels like a glitch in the system or software or the tool is not good. But when it keeps repeating, it feels like a glitch in your own leadership. The promise of speed and efficiency turns into a reality of overwhelm. Most leaders are thinking that this is an AI adoption problem or a skill problem or a prompt engineering problem. But it is not. It's a biological compatibility problem. When you interface a linear biological nervous system with exponential silicon speed, you create what we call a cognitive drag. The bandwidth of the machine exceeds the regulation capacity of the human operator. The nervous system interprets that speed as chaos and literally shuts down access to the prefrontal cortex. Working at the intersection of AI and human neuroscience for the last 30 years, I realized that you cannot run high voltage software on a low voltage biological hardware. That is why I'm here in India on an epic pilgrimage to the shrine of Neem Karoli Baba. Of course, I'm here for a spiritual pilgrimage as well. More importantly, I'm tracing the steps of Steve Jobs and Mark Zuckerberg to look at the source code of human consciousness, to understand how to stabilize the human mind so that it can actually hold the weight of the technology that we are building. I do this research because the gap between AI velocity and human biology is widening every single hour. And if we don't build a bridge, we break the human. I have mapped this human AI interface into a short technical field guide. It explains how to regulate the nervous system before you accelerate the technology. If you want the manual, comment interface below and I'll send it to you.